I'm Dr. Stephen Castor. I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Menorah Medical Center. I'm your host of House Calls, where we interview physicians about topics that are important to those in our community. Today, we're uh, grateful to have Dr. Stephanie Graff, who is a medical oncologist here at Menorah who specializes in breast cancer. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Graff. Thanks. Today's topic uh, is going to be on the clinical trials and success stories of patients who've been treated here at Menorah. This is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're doing a series of shows highlighting the uh, technology and treatment options that patients can have at Menorah. Dr. Graff, could you uh, just highlight some of the clinical trials that you work for here in, at Menorah and what are options available for our patients? Yeah, I, so I'm also, in addition to being a breast medical oncologist, I'm also, also the director of the HCA Midwest Health Sarah Cannon Clinical Trials Program. So I always just like to talk a little bit about what clinical trials and what the Sarah Cannon Cancer Network is. So the Sarah Cannon uh, Research Institute is a national cancer network uh, that brings clinical research, cutting edge clinical research, academic medical center quality research trials to community cancer centers, which means you can get academic level, you know, cutting edge before it's approved, um, the drugs of tomorrow today research sort of right in your community in the same place where you've received the comfortable, compassionate care that you're used to receiving. Um, and we're so lucky to be a part of that. Sarah Cannon has been a pioneer in drug development through the Sarah Cannon Cancer Network. Uh, we have been able to uh, be a part of the approvals of over two thirds of the new oncology drugs that have been brought to market in the last decade. And that's a footprint in drug development that's unparalleled by any other uh, organization in the country. And so Menorah Medical Center is proud of that legacy and what Sarah Cannon is bringing um, right here to our patients. In terms of exciting um, things over the last year or two that Menorah has been a part of, there's been several approvals and new drugs um, very recently that, that have been Menorah Medical Center clinical trials. So um, in the last year or two, we've seen the approval of atezolizumab, which is immunotherapy, where your body harnesses its own immune system to fight cancer. Atezolizumab was approved for the treatment of metastatic triple negative breast cancer, which was the first time we saw immunotherapy approved in breast cancer. And that was a Sarah Cannon clinical trial here at Menorah. We also saw the approval of sasituzumab govotecan. That's a mouthful, right? Um, sasituzumab govotecan is an antibody drug conjugate. So it's sort of a smart bomb where the chemo is tied to an antibody. And so it just goes right to the cancer and sticks and mm -hmm. delivers the chemo there. Also in triple negative breast cancer, it's the first targeted agent approved for the treatment of triple negative breast cancer, and that was a Sarah Cannon clinical trial here at nice. Menorah Medical Center. We've had two drugs approved in HER2 positive breast cancer that were HER2, sorry, that were Sarah Cannon trials. One is Tocotinib, which is an oral HER2 agent that has specific activity for patients with brain metastasis. Another, I still lovingly called DS8201, which was its name when we were trialing it before it even had a name. Its brand name is now in HER2 or trastuzumab directs to CAN, also for metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer. So a lot of really exciting stuff is happening. Um, two weeks ago, uh, earlier in September, there was a presentation at ESMO, which is the European Society of Medical Oncology, highlighting the use of CDK4-6 inhibitors, which are a medicine that we've been using for a long time in metastatic breast cancer looking at those drugs in an earlier phase, so in curative disease, to see if using those medicines earlier decreases the risk that a cancer would ever come back in the first place. And we saw a 25% reduction in the risk of a cancer recurring um, using a medicine called a bemaciclib. Um, that study was also a Sarah Cannon Menorah Medical Center trial that we're proud to have participated in. A very similar trial we actually have open right now using kind of a sister drug. Um, so there's opportunities like that just right here. And I'm, I'm so excited for what the future of oncology might hold. That's great. Uh, can you tell us some patient success stories? I know you've treated a lot of patients and I know we have a lot of great stories to tell, but can you maybe highlight just a few uh, yeah. for our viewers? Yeah, I mean, I think one of my, my proudest patient su success story, I was just talking about CDK4-6 inhibitors. So um, when we think about so much breast cancer is mediated by hormones. And, and what I always tell patients is one of the more common detour routes for 
cancer to get its hormone is this pathway called CDK4-6. And so when we do dual blockade and block hormones and CDK4-6 inhibitors, both of which are pills, um, patients have a longer outcome. And so the original trials using those medicines, we had one of those. And I have a patient who now has been on the medicine from the original trial for so long that the trial has closed and the comp and she's still doing great. She's been on it for over five years. She has no evidence of disease on her scans. It all has kind of melted away and she's still just taking her pills every day. And so the company has said, well, we're just gonna keep providing the medicine for her. And so she's just doing amazing, um, taking her medicine and, and essentially living with no evidence of a disease that was once metastatic. And um, it, it's so great to see somebody thriving with metastatic breast cancer. That's great. Well, thank you, Dr. Graff, for joining us. Appreciate your insights on breast cancer in our community. Thank you all for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more, uh, please log on to our website at menoramedicalcenter.com. Thank you for joining us.